Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to put together a fun fairy garden using items from the dollar store. If you are here for the first time, my name is Marsha, I have two daughters, and when it comes to crafts and activities, I like to keep things practical, low prep, and inexpensive. So if those are the kind of activities you are into, make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on for weekly activity inspiration. To make a fairy garden, you will need a container, soil, and then decorations. So let's head to the store and I will show you what options there are. There were a wide range of pots and containers available at the dollar store. There were really big plant pots which I thought were a great price for the size, but I didn't want anything too big because the more space there is to fill, the more of everything else that you need to buy to fill it. They also had these silver planters which was more of the look that I was going for, but unfortunately these were too narrow. I wanted more space so that my kids would have the room to play pretend with their toys if they wanted to. Next I came across these. They had a really large size and a medium size and the medium size was perfect and only $2 so I picked up two of these. Next I grabbed some potting mix. This type of soil is available both at Dollar Tree and Dollarama and one bag was sufficient for each container. Now the fun part, decorations. First up was Dollar Tree. They actually have a whole line of fairy garden items. The store that I went to was sold out of most everything, but I would definitely check out your Dollar Tree to see if they have anything. There were also succulents and tons of flowers to choose from. I've seen people use real flowers for fairy gardens, which you could definitely do. I personally chose the faux flowers because again, I wanted my kids to be able to play pretend with their toys in the fairy garden. And this would also work great if you have toddlers. You don't have to worry about them over watering the plants. They can just have fun and it can mean extra activity for them to water their flowers every day. For stones, here's what they had. They also had colored sand, the floral moss at Dollar Tree wasn't as nice as the one I found at Dollarama, so if you have a Dollarama I'd recommend getting it from there instead, but Dollar Tree did have these really cute moss stones. I also found these mini tin buckets which I thought would be really cute for pretend play. The last thing I picked up from Dollarama were these tiny birdhouses for a dollar. We painted them at the same time we did our birdhouse craft, which you can check out here. You will see all the painting supplies that I chose in that video. Here's what I ended up getting. I didn't end up buying a whole lot of extra things because we already had quite a few things at home. I also put in a few painted rocks that we had from last year, a few figurines, an old Pyrex dish that we ended up using to make a pond, and then some wire clippers to trim the faux flowers. Now it's time to bring it all together. I announced last week that I was working on activity cards and I wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who has already signed up to get their free digital download. If you're hearing about this for the first time, the goal of the activity cards is to save you time searching on Pinterest or Google for activities for your kids. All you need to do is pull out your deck of activity cards and you'll have lots of ideas. It also includes directions and a supply list to make things even easier. 
The activity cards are still being developed, but if you would like to receive a free sample of the cards, you can find all the information in the description box below to sign up for your free digital download. In the meantime, check out these videos for more activity ideas. Make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on to be notified when I post next. Thank you so much for your support. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!